Yesterday, I did a video showing you a gesture on Lineage OS that allowed you to capture a partial screenshot instead of the entire screen. This is useful for those who prefer to crop an image before sharing it with other people. But when doing so, I found that I was unable to save a screenshot when the crop user interface was available. So like many people, I went to take a screenshot and using the hardware buttons, you can see that works there. But whenever we have the crop screen user interface up, when I try to do that hardware button, you can see it's not saving a screenshot. So thankfully, there is a way around that. And today I'll be showing you how to capture a screenshot on Android with ADB. Now this method is really useful because it bypasses the limitations that Android imposes during some instances like that. So if you find yourself unable to capture a screenshot on Android using the hardware buttons, then this method with ADB may help you get around that. Naturally, this means that you need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC. Not only that, but you're also going to need to have USB debugging mode enabled on your phone or tablet as well. Both of these tasks have been covered by previous tutorials of mine, so I'll be linking to those two videos in the video description below for anyone who has yet to set this up on their device. Now with all of that done, we can then go ahead and plug in our USB cable to our smartphone or our tablet and then we're going to bring up either a command prompt, a terminal, or a Windows PowerShell within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So I've gone ahead and set up my phone to the same screen that I was having issues with before. So you can see that this is still working. Again, I have the phone plugged into our PC with a USB cable and USB debugging mode is enabled. Now with all of that done, we're gonna type out the command ADB space EXEC dash OUT space screen cap space dash P, then a greater than sign, and then any type of file name. So we're just gonna type out screen.png but you can rename this file anything.png that you would like. And with that done, we're just going to tie it. We're just going to press the enter button to execute that command. And it should simply take you back to another prompt, the same prompt that you were at before. You're not going to get a success message or an okay message. It's just going to take you to that same prompt again. So now when I bring up a Windows Explorer folder within the same folder as that command that was executed. You can see I now have that screen.png file. And when I double click it, I get the screenshot that was saved from our device. So even though I could not take a screenshot here, as you can see, I was able to capture a screenshot with ADB using that command 